Hello everyone, Steve from Tech Toy Tinker and Retro Arena. With the Smart Pro stuff going on, I've had a lot of people ask me about the Smart device and if I plan to update Tomato. And yes, I do. So the first thing I wanted to talk about here, I noticed on the website for the Smart that 116 is the last available firmware there. However, 117 I don't know if it didn't get released publicly or what exactly happened there, but it is available and it does have some L2, R2 fixes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to include it with the next tomato release. So when you get the next tomato zip, you're going to drag and drop it onto your root of your SD card. And the first boot, you're going to turn the device on. You're going to hold L2, I'm sorry, L and R. And you're going to see the blue light come on when you do that and turn it on. Let the blue light finish. It'll blink. It'll shut off. It'll reboot itself. Once that blue light comes on, you can go ahead and let go of the buttons. Just got to hold them to kick it into that mode. So there's some new apps added as well. The clock adjuster here is for the real-time clock for games that need it. There's a simple terminal as well. Uh, the stuff I added here for these apps right here, these three were available on a GitHub repository. They were not made by me. I did, however, bring this stuff over to swap the background music and the click sound, in case you can't tell, from the Smart Pro. So I'm bringing some of those customizations and features over that we have on the Smart Pro that you've seen in the videos back to here. The reboot feature is also there. Uh, Commander is always, always here. You can use the USB as storage. Now, in the way of gaming, there's a few things that I've added here that we should talk about. I don't remember how to change the UI. Was it this? Yes, it is. Okay. I prefer this UI. So, I've added... Safami Turbo. I'm not going to make you watch me play it. It works. You can see that it works. That's all that really matters. I added SNES MSU1. You need to be able to hear the audio for this. That's important. Good enough. You can hear how the audio changed. So now we've got support for MSU1 Super Nintendo games. If you don't know what that is, that's Super Nintendo games with CD quality audio soundtracks. I've also added Satellaview here. Very early 90s. Very, very early 90s. Oops. I guess we'll just go the other way. So give you an idea of what's there. There are still a couple more things I can and do plan to add as well. And all in all, I mean, I'm very happy with this device. The Bluetooth, the Wi-Fi, the amount of things that it can run. I always liked the Smart. It's a very pocketable, very portable device. Oh, Nintendo DS has also been added. Except for it seems to not like that game. And for some reason... 
It caused the entire device to power off. I played Mario, and that didn't happen. But I guess we'll see. I'll go back in and I'll just load Mario. I think my baby is waking up, so if you hear a bit of noise in the background, I tried. There we go. I don't remember how to change the screens either. It's definitely one of those buttons. I'm just going to exit for now because I honestly don't remember the hotkeys. I didn't compile the emulator here. You can get a good look at what's on here. At least now you can. For some reason the camera picks up a weird glare when you angle it the wrong way. But yeah, there's about 75 systems on here right now, give or take. I'm trying to get to around 80. Not to mention there's some ports and things like that that could be added to. Just wanted to give you guys a heads up. Um, so to summarize, I'm going to be releasing a new build of Tomato for the Smart. It will include the 117 firmware. And it will be uploaded to archive.org so that it's there long into the future as well. As this device is getting a bit old now, and I assume that it's probably reaching near the end of its update days. It's important that one of the final firmwares is always available. But anyways, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.